Okay, so I'm going to put up a new video um, about an English Grand Master called Simon Williams. Um, I've got a couple of games that have gone through of his and I'm going to have a slight introduction to some of the books he has for sale. Um, he has one called The New Sicilian Dragon, the Dragador variation, which seems to focus on G6, A6 Sicilian variation with a6 generally being played to prevent the check at b5 and then the loss of either the knight or the bishop. Um, but I'm sure that book would be quite an interesting read. Uh, How to Crush Your Chess. Opponents, an inspiring guide for the modern attacker. Um, uh, some of the work I've been reading over says that um, Simon Williams is a very exciting and attacking player. Um, one of the games I go through in the second half of this video is when he plays. Uh, he plays h4 on move 3 in the King's Indian, um, which we'll go through. Um, and then the final book he has is the Classical Dutch. Um, an enthusiastic uh, adherent of the Classical Dutch explains the workings of his favourite opening and provides black with a complete rabbit power against 1d4. Um, so that's a couple of books he has out for sale. And I'm going to dive right in here to uh, the first game which I want to look at. Um, which is uh, part of the Jack Spielgel Memorial, which was played in the South End 2009, um, at which the Grand Master Simon Williams actually drew second place with a guy called John Ems as well. John Ems made 247 and Simon Williams 2512 yellow. Um, both of them had four and a half points, and um, there's a guy called Glenn Fair who came fourth. So, how do we look at their game? Um, at which Glenn actually um, defeated Simon in 27 moves. Simon has a bit of a weird opening, with, which left his, his light squares quite light. If, if I had a 15 minute video, I'd maybe look at it too, but I don't think I'm going to have enough time. So, um, to jump around to this game then, um, we've got John Ames playing Bishop takes c5, perhaps thinking of a queenside attack. Um, although, he kind of. <laughs> Kind of rapidly forgets about that idea. I think the idea really should have been um, after say d takes c5, it should have been something along the lines of ripping f to c1, g5 obviously, um, rook c5, b takes c5, and then queen takes a6, taking advantage of the pinned bishop. Um, Black will probably play queen to c8, and then uh, f5 played, which uh, should result in mate. Um, although none of that was specifically clear at the time, and after d takes c5, um, white plays queen g3, um, and black plays queen d6, uh, queen takes g6, queen takes g6, bishop takes g6, bishop takes d5, um, and basically. White, who had a slightly winning position there, just has just um, liquidated his position into uh, into a position now where Black has three. Black being Simon here has um, a winning end game there with three connected, well, two connected pass pawns, um, which are going to be devastating. You know they're going to run the whole way down the board, and you can see here that's exactly what just happened. So if I go on to um, White would have liked to play a3 there, but a3 here, um, just to avoid the loss of the a2, but if he plays that then next comes h to g8, and then the g2 pawn's going to high, which will lose the queen, so, or the, the king position, so he has to go on ahead and play um, f4, which is then made by, met by bishop takes a2, rook and b to c1. Bishop d5, f5, c4, rook f4, b5, h4, a5, f6, a4, f7, a3, rook f6, king b7, h5, b4, rook f5, b3, and rook takes d5, rook takes d5, and bishop b4, f Pending the rook to the king, um, 
Black could have played C6 there, but decided not to bother because A2 followed by B2 after Bishop takes D5, C6, Bishop takes C2, C4, and then C2 wins the game. So that's the first game that he won that I think was uh, quite a good end game victory. So I think he's quite good there. And it's definitely a well thought out end game. Just connect those pawns and push. Um, so I'm going to go into a second game as well, which he played here, which is um, which was called the Anti Kings Indian, and it was um, it was actually the March 2009 edition of Chess Magazine, um, in which Simon Williams got the front cover called Simon Williams scores the H2 H4 hat trick at the Hastings Masters, and I think the H2 H4 move is is this particular game here when he played D4. Um, Simon's white in this game, d4, knight f6, c4, g6, and then plays h4 straight off from the beginning. Um, now perhaps chess goes on to say perhaps this will have to feature in a future anti Kings Indians book, needless to say almost no one else so they had the authority to push the h4 this early on in the state in the in the game. Um, Black follows up with d6. He's playing a guy called Peter Blue Baslingham. Um, now one of the possible um Responses here for black to try and make it to h2 h4 look a little bit weird would have actually been to play c5 with the idea of d5 b5 leading to a bent of gamut in which white's third is um, beginning to look a little bit out of place now. Um, after the bent of gamut, you know. Um, Etc. You know, then it forward began to look a little bit out of place, but it never gets round to that. Um, and I think I'm going to wrap the video up there. Just a little bit of an introduction there to um, Simon Williams. We're going to go through a number of his games and try and put together some videos on it. So we'll see how this video does and whether people are interested in Simon Williams. He's a grandmaster from England and. Seems to be doing quite well. Um, it's got an ELO of 2512, so hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks, Nick.